Hi, in this video, we will see default exception handling. So what do you mean by exception? We already discussed something abnormal happened in your program execution, unwanted thing. So it will interrupt your smooth execution. So what do you mean by exception handling? So to avoid that, we'll try to handle that with the help of some extra code. Okay, so but if you do not have that code, then what happens? What is default exception handling? Okay, so with the help of one program, we'll try to understand this one. So here I have created one class called default exception handling. So inside this, I have a main method public static void main. Inside that, I'm calling another method called method one. Okay, so when I come to the method one, there is another, met another method I'm calling method two. So when you jump into the method two, so I have a string and I'm trying to print the length of that string. Okay, but my string is null. Okay, my string is null, there is no string. So then what happens in this scenario? So, and I'm not handling that when something happens, if, if null is there, I need to do something like this. That is uh, handling exception handling code, but I do not have any exception handling code. So first we'll try to execute this code and we'll see what will happen if you try to execute this. So let me copy this class. So I'll just try to execute. You see that I'm getting an exception. Exception in thread main, java.lang.null pointer exception. So I'm getting what kind of exception? Null pointer exception. Where, it am, where I'm getting, so at default exception handling, this is my class name dot in the method two, okay? So that method two is calling from where? From method one. That method one is calling from where? From met main method. So what happens when some this kind of exception happens? So main method who will call? So JVM call your main method. Right? JVM look for any handling code. Where I exactly got this issue in the method two. So let me note this. So where I got an error? this exception, so I got in this method two. So JVM will search for any exception handling code is there or not. Exception handling code for this. So, but I do not have anything here for this code. So normally what it will do then, so which method is calling this method? So method one is calling. So here it will search any exception handling code is there for the, from for this method one. So here also I do not have any exception handling code. So this method one is called by which method? So main method, All right? So here also I do not have any exception handling code. So this one who is calling? So JVM is calling, All right? So now what it has, it has to do? So it has to do something, means it has to do uh, give some meaningful information to the user, right? What exactly happened? If it simply sits, so what, how, what you'll understand as a user, as a programmer, so how you, when you're executing this, right? When you're executing this, you got some issue here. Okay, you got some issue here that is got null pointer exception. So this, from where it is coming? Who is giving this information to you when you execute, right? So then, so JVM has to take care of these things. So the moment when it happens, what it will do, where it exception happens. So there it will create one exception object. Okay, it will create, sorry, exception object. So who is responsible to create this uh, exception object? Where exactly this happened means method two is responsible for creating an exception object. So once it create an exception object, so it will hold that the, what is the exception name and it will have the description and stack trace, okay? Stack trace means from where it is, you know, all calling from method main to method one, method one to method two, something like that. So it has to give this information, okay? So normally how the execution will be, so but the moment the execution starts, so it will create one thread, okay? JVM will create one thread. 
so we already discussed in the starting you know when you talk about the uh, java programming java is a multi threaded programming language so because of that it will create one thread so how what it will execute first it will create main method so it is calling main method so main method is calling what method one so it will create an entry for method one so then it will create method two okay if it is executed smoothly so it will terminate from here but what happened here method two got an issue so here what it will do it will terminate because of this exception it will terminate your program abruptly there is no smooth execution right so then here we are discussing jvm right so this jvm what it will do there is one mechanism called default exception handler so default exception handler will be there so it will give this task to this one jvm so what this uh, default exception handler will do so it will give the information what you are seeing it will capture that information from here and it will give the meaningful information okay so how it will be exception in uh, thread main and what is that exception null pointer exception at uh, which it you know from method 2 from method 1 from where it is calling everything it will provide that information if you want to see that you see that exception in thread main java dot lang dot null pointer exception and where it is coming from method 2 from method 2 to method 1 from method 1 to main method so this complete information it will give that that is the duty of default exception handler okay so now what i will do so i i'll change a little bit my program okay so instead of raising this here so i'll raise here okay and what i will do in the method to i'll write a simple message learning about default exception handling okay something like that so let me put this one in the top okay so now what happens when you try to execute so it will it will call method 1 the moment when it comes method 1 it will call method 2 it will jump into the method 2 so it will print this one after it is printing it it will come back so after this you have something else so when you call this so you get the exception here so we'll try to execute this and we'll see you see that now it printed learning about default exception handling and you'll get the same exception but where it is coming in the method one method one is calling from main so you'll have only these two lines instead of three lines right the moment when it comes so from there only you'll get the this kind of information right now what is the uh, who is responsible to create this exception object so method one is responsible to create the exception object and there is no handling code so it will search for main method in the in the main method here also nothing is there then jvm will take care of this it will you uh, know delegate this in, uh, this thing uh, this thing to default exception handler that will capture the information that will print this information for the user right then you will come to know that what exactly happened okay i am getting null pointer exception where it is i am getting so in the 10th line so in the 4th line it called okay in the 4th line it called so in the 10th line i am getting this one so what's wrong with 10th line so unfortunately uh, so i unknowingly or knowingly i have given string as null i need to give some string then only it will execute it will print the length otherwise you will get the exception this way you will understand okay so if you do not have the exception handling code then jvm will do uh, means uh, this mechanism with the help of default exception handler okay so that is what default exception handling in java so what could be the possible interview questions from this what is an exception what is default exception handling in java examples of exceptions advantages of exception handling so can you tell me uh, 
means can you explain default exception handling with the help of one program something like that okay so that's all in this video thank you